Hey friends, this is Dana from HD Adventuring, here to tell you a little bit about our new adventure vehicle project. If you watched our most recent video, you'll know that we bought a Mitsubishi Fuso 4x4 truck, and we have plans to turn it into a Overlander. Today, I'll take you through a little tour of the vehicle as it is, and take you on our trip to go pick it up and drive that vehicle all the way back to Colorado. quick update here we picked up the Fuso a couple days ago now and we have driven it over a thousand miles uh, to Idaho um, and so far it's been pretty good uh, a couple little issues uh, the heat doesn't switch to the defrost mode uh, so it's a little bit hard to keep the windshield clear and the ride is very rough uh, we do not have any weight in the back and this is a commercial vehicle designed to carry multiple tons worth of payload and we have zero weight in the back. Uh, so it's a very rough ride. What we've done so far to help that is we lowered our tire pressure and we strapped on some sandbags on the back, which I will show you. Uh, that's helped a little bit, but uh, it's been snowy here. So traction hasn't been fantastic when we're in rear wheel drive, but guess what? We have front wheel, uh, four wheel drive as well. And that is awesome. Here's a little four wheel drive switch that you can uh, turn on vehicle's off right now, but it's pretty sweet. We even have a four low if I pull this lever back. I'll talk a little bit about the mechanics of this vehicle as well. As I mentioned, the ride has been rough because we don't have any weight in here. Uh, this is a commercial vehicle. It's 15 years old. Um, the suspension is very rough. So the first big plan that we have is to adjust the suspension. So we're gonna put new springs and shocks in. We're also gonna convert the dual rear wheels into single rear wheels and single front wheels. So they're called super singles. Uh, and then we're gonna put 37 inch tires on it. Uh, what that's gonna do is gonna give us a fair bit more clearance off road. It's also gonna actually increase our fuel efficiency surprisingly because these vehicles are geared so low. So we're really excited about that. I personally cannot wait until we have those new wheels on there and tires uh, just because it's going to A, look badass and B, it's going to ride a lot better. We've been slipping and sliding in the ice here in, in Idaho and uh, pretty excited for a little bit more traction. So as Dana mentioned, because we didn't have any weight in the back here, we've really been sliding around, uh, fishtailed a couple times on some dirt roads that were covered in snow. So to help mitigate that, we added some uh, sandbags here, a little bit jerry-rigged. They're just sitting on some two by fours with some straps around them. Um, but even the extra like 100 plus pounds is making a little bit of a difference. We've got a little less bounce as we've been riding um, and definitely sliding a little less. So we'll take any help we can get right now until we get the box on here, which will add a lot of weight and really fix some of the issues that we're having with our ride right now. As you can see, the truck that we found was an old fire truck that had reached the end of its useful life fighting wildland fires. Thankfully, while the truck wasn't out fighting fires, it spent most of its time in a garage in Oregon, so it has almost zero rust on it, and overall the thing is in great shape. you a little bit about what our plans are for this build. Um, starting with the cab, Dana touched on a few things, um, but obviously new seats are in order. These are pretty gross, or at least maybe some covers for now. Um, we'll clean everything up. But the big thing that I want to talk to you about is the box build out. 
So we are planning on putting a box on the back that's about uh, 8 by 15 feet. Um, we'll have a pass through here so you can see there's already a window here that we're going to blow out a fair bit so that you can get from the cab directly into the box um, with like a little step through here. That'll be great on like really bad weather days. We can just go right into the box without having to go outside. Or if we're in kind of like a sketchy area where we don't want to go outside, um, or even like we stop, like we are here and we want a snack, we can just hop in the back and grab something from the fridge. So that'll be really convenient and I'm pretty excited about that feature. So um, when it comes to the actual build out of the box, uh, we are planning a bathroom which will be a wet bath, um, so pretty small, but it will have a toilet, which we haven't really decided exactly what toilet style we're going for. We have still some research to do, um, but we'll have the ability to shower and use the ba bathroom when we need to. Um, it won't be like an everyday thing, because obviously that uses a lot of water and produces a lot of waste, um, but it's really nice to have that option when you're on the road. We'll also have, we think, a queen size bed towards the back of the box. Underneath that will be a storage area, um, kind of like a little garage, where we'll have uh, exterior access to our bikes, skis, anything that's dirty or we want to have inside technically um, in a secure area, but that isn't necessarily accessible from the inside of the rig. Um, and we really are prioritizing our ability to get outside and do the things we love. So having a spot for our bikes and our skis and our other gear is really a big priority for us. Not everyone would prioritize having a huge garage in their rig when we already are obviously tight on space. It's not a huge footprint, um, but that's really important for us. Um, we'll obviously have a kitchen, so we have a lot of research to do on that. We're planning on building our own uh, like cabinet situation, maybe some Ikea cabinets and just going with the modular route and then putting in our own um, stove, fridge, um, and then obviously we need to do like a whole water system. Uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to our build. It's gonna be a huge project, um, but we'll keep you updated as we make decisions along the way and hopefully take some sweet videos of the progress. You can probably tell just how excited we are to turn this old fire truck into an expedition vehicle. Uh, so I hope you'll follow along on our YouTube channel so that you see every step of our build out and then all the adventures we go in it. Thanks.